People of Earth, it's video time. Hi everyone, welcome to another video edition of my beauty advice column. I'm filming this immediately post New York Fashion Week and as I look back on the beauty trends we've seen, the one that stands out the hardest to me, literally, is contouring. Now I'm not talking about the super hardcore stage makeup contouring. This look is really soft. It's meant to define cheekbones a little, but still fit in with an overall minimalist makeup aesthetic. Consider it the new contour, which is great because I was getting kind of sick of the old one. Who better than ExoVane's resident angle monster to show you guys how to lightly contour your cheekbones. Bust out a couple brushes and prepare to earn your cheekbone planet citizenship. So right off the bat, I know some of you are sitting there going, but Ali, I don't have cheekbones. Yeah, you do, if you have a human skull. They're just more visible in some people than others because of how individual skulls are shaped and the amount of fatty tissue over top. Now, you don't want to just draw dark lines willy-nilly on the side of your face, so if your cheekbones aren't super prominent, how do you find them? You can make a pretty good guess by using your ears as a reference point. See this little, I don't know what it's called, nubble? Go about a finger's width down from it and you'll feel a bony seam. Congratulations, you've just found the beginnings of your cheekbones. If your face is narrower, <laughs> you have so many options. You can use bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, actual contouring powder. You can even use setting powder that's a little bit darker than your natural skin tone. Just make sure that whatever you're using is totally matte, not too orange, and one or two shades darker than your natural skin tone maximum. Lately, I like to use an angled brush for application. Not too sure where I got this one. Important features include bristles that aren't super long or too dense, all one length up along the top, and a footprint around about the same width as my cheekbones themselves. Ta-da! Okay, basic technique. Apply a little product to the brush itself. Tap or blow some of it off. Suck your cheeks in or over to one side. And then apply up and down in a quick motion. So you want to take this from up here by the ear to around about here, which is right under the apple of your cheek when you smile. Now clean your brush off on a clean towel and go back in and blend. And now my ultimate cheekbone planet secret. Make it even more subtle by going in with some tinted setting powder and applying it over top. So you can still see where my contour is, but it's a lot softer. Finally, highlight. Contour is adding shadows, and shadows are no good without highlights. I take a little bit of shimmer powder in a shade that's about the same as my skin, and I dust it along the tops of my cheekbones, blending down, down the bridge of my nose, and a little on my chin. Because why not? This mimics the way that the light reflects off the naturally high cheekbones of my people. Well, people, aliens, I guess. And you're done. Get ready for the world to marvel at your cheekbony glory. Are you ready to bow down to the ruler of Cheekbone Planet? I'm kidding, just send me diamonds. You can also send me questions or video requests via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, or down in the comments at ExoVane. Oh, I'm gonna go fall into a post-fashion week coma. With wonderful cheekbones! See you next week, everyone!